Hey guys, in this video, we've traveled all the way to Kyushu to check out a large-scale collaboration event for Attack on Titan. Yeah, and there's a whole bunch of events held across this area to celebrate the hometown of the manga's author, Hajime Isayama. So, Yasu, are you ready? Shinzo Sasagiro! Celebrating the end of one of the most critically acclaimed manga franchises of all time, the Attack on Hita event sees various attractions spread out across Japan's southern island of Kyushu. Utilizing a smartphone app, fans will be able to track down these locations and also snap some awesome shots at the augmented reality spots scattered around the area. Although we started this video at Oyama Dam, that was, admittedly, just to make it look really cool. The beginning of our journey is actually the day previous in the town of Kokura. Here at the Riverwalk Kitakyushu Mall, a collaboration event is being held where you can check out some cool photo spots and more importantly, partake in a stamp rally in order to obtain a limited edition print that I most definitely won't be selling on eBay. Probably. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the first stamp. And you know, in the original Japanese title, uh, it reads Shingeki no Kyojin, you know, Kyojin means giant. But this time, because uh, they're having a special collaboration between the Hida city, it reads uh, Shingeki no Hita. So I'm um, gonna get the first one, uh, kanji that reads Shin. Alright guys, so we've got our first critical mission. Uh, Bet hold, he's about to explode. He's gonna transform into the Colossal Titan. <laughs> so we need to go into AR mode and stop him. Yeah. But it might be too late. Uh, so I think we gotta select on here, Colossal Titan AR, River Walk. Uh, click on AR experience. And then you see here it shows such a location in the photo, which is this place here with the screen. So we gotta line it up. I think, done. Oh, then we gotta line up the pillars. Maybe I gotta go a bit closer. Okay, we're lined up. Oh no! Oh, it's too late. He's gonna go, he's gonna blow. <laughs> no, bad hard! Yeah! Oh my god, smoke! Oh, what? <laughs> That's okay! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Jesus! Oh man, he's way bigger than I thought he'd be. Whoa! Wow! Wow, that's so cool. So you can see this building here, like, it's got this really awesome, like, cylindrical design. It kind of goes up. Mm. And then he, a towering, like, Titan in the middle there. That's super crazy. <laughs> yeah, so it was a bit goofy, but, like, pretty fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we've got all these other ones that we're going to check out. So mm. we'll, uh, we'll have our second encounter tomorrow with the Castle Titan. Mm. But uh, the Oyama Dam. So yeah, he's going to yeah. be full size then. Mm -hmm. peering over the dam, so I kind of uh -huh. can't wait for that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just some of the fun you can have with this app, it's really cool. <laughs> you see this one, Yasu? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so funny. He's like, calm down. There are other photo spots. Oh yeah. <laughs> he knows what we're thinking. Yeah, yeah. And he's, he's obviously kicking someone's head in here. <laughs> so he's just like, just, yeah, there are other photo spots. <laughs> so maybe like in uh, Eren in the courtroom uh, or when he captures Zeke, maybe. He's uh, just like kicking the hell out of him. <laughs> yeah, maybe that scene. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like we've got the second stamp over here. So I've got my card ready. We've got Shin downstairs and this is a Geki. Yes, Bosch. Second floor, complete. Right. <laughs> now we've got Shingeki. Yeah, now we need to get the uh, he, which means sun. Yeah, so that's on the third floor. So let's go find it. Yeah, so we found the final stamp spot in this location. So let's get it done. 
Yeah, so I guess we are done for today. So we are ready to go to the Hida City tomorrow. Countless birds fly so high that the sun burns up their wings. Perhaps not as perilous a quest as venturing out of the walls to fell a titan, our next mission is to make our way to the town of Hita. We jump in the car and make an 80 km excursion into the heart of the Japanese countryside in search of our final stamp. We'd also received intelligence that key members of the scout regiment were sighted in the area too. With the help of our trusty app, we'd be able to track them down and help them defeat any pesky titans we run into along the way. Approaching the city all looks fairly normal, that is, until we draw closer to Hita train station and the streets appear to be lined with an all too familiar banner. Okay guys, so we just got to the Hita city and look who we found. Yeah, it's Captain Levi. Wow. Taicho. <laughs> Finally, <Badass. laughs> I'm meeting with the strongest soldier of all the human beings. Yeah, man. His <laughs> scale is quite hilarious though. He's one of the smallest characters in the, uh, in the series, right? Yeah, that's it, right? But it feels like, yeah, they, uh, it actually matches his height. It's cool. Yeah, that's a good part. I mean, he's the smallest, but the strongest. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you're quite tall, Yasu, but if you go back a bit, mm. he's standing on like a two foot, three foot <laughs> platform. <laughs> so it's quite cool. But yeah, down here, got a little description. Uh, it actually says that this statue was crowdfunded. Oh, interesting. Yeah. It's a great cool. initiative. Yeah, yeah, really cool, right? And that's the same as the uh, the Eren, Mikasa and Armin mm. statues in Oyama town. Yeah, we're gonna check them out later. Yeah, that's our next stop. Mm. But uh, yeah, so I guess Levi here, he's the, the guardian spirit of the train station. Yeah, not just the station, but maybe the guardian of all the, uh, the entire city. Exactly, yeah. And then if any titans show up, we could end up with a decisive battle on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. All right, guys, so it's time for our second epic battle. Uh. Zeke is approaching the Beast Titan. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're going to use the power of AR to find him. <laughs> so in our app here, it tells us to find this location, the Hita sign, which is this uh, sign over here. Mm. So first, we need to go line it up. Boom, here we go. Oh, Zeke, he's parachuting in. <laughs> So you've already subdued them all. Our oh, defeat caused this war. This is a war, a terrible thing. <laughs> He's coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> cool. What does it look like? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's on the top of the station, man. Like oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> cool. cool. Okay guys, so we're here at the Hita Tourism Information Center mm. and uh, you can see awesome graphic here. <laughs> you can go inside and find the final stamp. Ah, excuse me. Stamp or... Yeah, I got it. I've got my... Uh, Shingeki no Hita, mm. and my badass. Exclusive, limited, limited exclusive edition. postcard. Yeah, badass. Yeah, it looks really cool, right? Yeah, it's quite unique as well, isn't it? Mm. I've never seen anything like that in this uh, series. It's pretty I think cool. So. It should be a special like drawing for this mm. postcard. Yeah, only a thousand prints. Yeah. And we are two of the lucky people. Yeah, <laughs> two of 1,000 people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Having located Captain Levi and securing ourselves some limited edition merch, it was time to set off in search of the rest of the scouts. Just a short 20 minute drive south from Hita City is our next destination, Oyama Dam, which from what I've heard is just an ordinary dam, or so I'm led to believe.
<laughs> you okay over there, Yasu? I'm not sure. <laughs> Are we okay? I think we're okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so we've got the whole gang here. Yeah, man. We've got Aaron, Mikasa, Armin over the mm. back there. And I just noticed that Isoyama Sensei has come here and he's oh, made a yeah. Yeah, handprint. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wow, exactly the same size. <laughs> yeah, nice. what an honor. <laughs> Maybe I've got the magic hand. Perhaps, man, yeah. Yeah. I also like how uh, his signature mm. has got a little picture of Mikasa. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice. Yeah. yeah I saw a true. lot of people on Twitter talking about this. Mm. Uh, it's quite cute, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's, you know, inscribed on the stones. So yeah, yeah. It's permanent. So these figures are awesome, right? Yeah. They look really, really, really good detail. Mm. Similar to obviously Levi. Yeah, and I heard even uh, Isoyama Sensei himself mm. kind of like helped made, um, how do you say, like sculpting these. Oh, wow, really? Mm. Interesting. The Colossal Titan is about to break over the wall and destroy these kids' lives. <laughs> <laughs> so I just need to line it up. Done. It can't be. That wall's 50 meters high. Whoa, one of them. A Titan. Whoa. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh my god, this looks awesome. <laughs> this is crazy, man. In order to enjoy these attractions, you'll most definitely need a car to traverse through the winding mountain roads that stretch between them. Although not the usual sightseeing destination for tourists in Japan, Isayama-san is proud of his hometown and through the power of manga, he's helping to draw more attention to an otherwise quiet part of the country. Located very close to Oyama Dam is our final stop for the journey, the Attack on Titan Museum. Okay guys, we're here at the Attack on Titan Museum. Super, super cool. And you can see all these kind of uh, sketch drawings by Isayama Sensei and kind of drafts. And there's even a whole bunch of portraits of all the main characters over here. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of different rooms. So I'm gonna walk around, explore and see what I can find. Yeah, so we saw three statues in front of the dam. Oh, right, yeah, cool. So these are like rough sketches. Oh, yeah, 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 I see. Yeah. Kind of like the drafts for the poses. Mm. Actually, having seen them now, they look pretty spot on to, mm. uh, you know, what he drew originally. Mm. Yeah. Oh, actually, look, here, there's a video of them. Yeah, you see that? He's sculpting himself. Mm. Hey Julian, mm. so hypothetically, if you can choose one of these autographs, which one would you choose? Hypothetically? <laughs> uh, out of these six, I'd probably say my favorite character is Owen. Oh really? If he's just the smartest, he always has a plan. True, true. Yeah, even in death, he has a plan, you know? So, but I also like Hanj. 
She's, oh yeah? Yeah, she's badass. Yeah, she's always humorous, right? Yeah, I think so. How about you? I would say, um, Aaron. Aaron? Yeah, I mean, especially in this autograph, he looks very cool. I think they're all pretty cool. I like Mikasa's thumbs up. Like, she looks super sad, but she's also got a thumbs up. Yeah, it looks a bit goofy, right? But again, if you look at the uh, Isayama Sensei signature with the little Mikasa, it's pretty cool, right? Oh, cool. So this is like Isayama Sensei's timeline, right? Yeah, I guess so. And check this out. <laughs> Adorable, yeah. So we've got seven month year old uh, Hajime there. Very chubby. And the next picture? Yeah, it says with his elder and younger sisters. Oh, uh, yeah. So he must be yeah, on the left, right? Yeah, I assume so. Uh, at age 11, he's doing some sumo. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, and this is interesting. So it seems like he was doing a homestay in Idaho when he was 13. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> Just him and a bunch of white kids. That's really funny. Yeah, he's international too. I like this uh, kind of early kaiju obsession. So obviously that's uh, Godzilla, right? I suppose so. And I don't know if this was supposed to be himself or his father or... Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think he's come a long way since the beginning though. <laughs> yeah, when you think about it, right? Well, yeah, he was obviously a creative kid. Yeah, so it says here, Core Corse. So I guess this is when he was in high school? High school, yeah. So these are obviously all rough sketches, but he was kind of practicing his style. But even here, this looks a bit like uh, Shingeki no Kyojin characters. A little bit, yeah. So maybe at like 17 or 18 years old. Pretty cool to see. So after seeing all these drawings, you know, I kind of see his passion in robots as well. So, I don't know. It's, it's just my guessing, but maybe he starts a new manga about robots. Could be, yeah. There's a lot of steampunk style in Attack on Titan, right? So yeah, maybe his next series could be something like that. Yeah, so I'm overwhelmed. So it seems like this desk is the actual one that Isayama Sensei was using ever since he debuted. I'm not sure exactly when, but many years ago. And he was using this until quite recently. It says that um, until the 22nd manga came out. So yeah, I mean, if I start drawing something here, Maybe I can come up with a brilliant idea for a manga. <laughs> okay guys, so that's the end of our Attack on Titan adventure, traveling across Kyushu. Mm. It's pretty fun, right Yasu? How are you feeling? <laughs> you know, it was really fun immersing ourselves in the world of Attack and Titan mm. for the full two days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh, quite a lot of traveling we did, right? And oh, yeah. uh, we're outside here now at the uh, Attack and Titan Museum. Mm. Uh, this is probably your favorite thing, right Yasu? You know, seeing his pictures mm. uh, and drawings from his childhood was yeah, yeah. really interesting because, you know, I could see the progression. You yeah, know, yeah. How he kind of evolved from almost like an amateur to a professional, you know, top professional manga writer. So yeah, I think my favorite part was probably like the AR games. Oh yeah. You know, they were a bit goofy, mm. but I just thought it was really fun when you stand in somewhere like kind of epic location, like a mm. dam, right? The bottom of a dam mm. and you see the colossal titan come over the top. Right. I also like the one uh, you got in front of the hitter station. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really cool with the uh, beast titan. Yeah, yeah. It was coming down on me. <laughs> Maybe that was my favorite AR attraction. Okay guys, so that's all for now. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Japan Pro. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for instant updates on new videos every single week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. See you again.